the tail beat for so long because we have to go to the other nations, because we're on the bottom of society. We forget that we were rulers. We forget that we were kings and priests. We forget that you're God's chosen people. God said, don't forget. At ease, get uh, Romans 13, 11. No, get Ecclesiastes 7 and 7 first. So, the reason why we come out here every single Sabbath is to raise up our people. But y'all are comfortable in the state that you're in. You're comfortable with hanging out on the corners, being less than nothing. But we ain't comfortable with it. Read Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7. Surely oppression make it a wise man mad. So y'all in the corners down there, y'all must not be wise because you're not mad at the oppression. That's right. You're not mad, Bring it but up. we are. That's why we're out here, to show you who you are, That's so right. you can get out of this oppression. That's Read it right. again. Surely oppression make it a wise man mad. So it's only once you become wise, once you gain that wisdom, to know where you belong in this society. Oh, that you'll be mad at your state. That's Get right. wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Bring it we up. are mad at the oppression. We're tired of seeing our people get shot down. Oh, right. We call niggas, Hispanics, coons. We're tired of you being shot down. Bring it up. Robbed, spoiled. Read that. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. So that's why we're out here bold as a lion. Right. Because we are righteous men. Right. Trying to return you to your righteous state. Right. But all day you walk past us like we talking garbage. Right. Like nothing we say matters. Read that again. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. So we stand before all the other nations that afflicted us. Hey, what's going on, brother? You got an idea of what we out here teaching? You already know, okay. Get Daniel 11.33. So what do you know? What, tell me something about what you know about what we teach. Well, so basically, what I know is that that shows that a lot of things that people put in the Bible or that was in the Bible or it was wrong, it was confusion. You said what was put in the Bible is confusion or what we've been taught is confusion? What we've been taught is confusion. Exactly. You've been hearing it, you're, right on you're, point. Gonna hear it you're gonna hear it as a pinkney growing up. You're all And point. so you don't have no the choice First Corinthians but to 14 it. and 33. Yeah. I'm gonna show you what you said is on point. Okay, you said the things that we've been taught has created a lot of confusion. Oh, it has. Right. Watch this. I'm going to show you an example of the confusion. Brother over here in the hat with the army jacket on. My man, what's your nationality, bro? African American. Confusion. You oh, believe in the right. Bible? Come over here. Let me talk to you real quick. Oh, man, I ain't got time for it. You ain't got time for it? No. Bro, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to show you the greatest thing on the face of the earth, bro. You don't want to hear that? I'm trying to show you how to be a king, how to be a ruler. My man said his nationality is African American, right? Where does that name come from? Africa, okay, where does Africa come from? Where, what was Africa named after? It was named after a Caucasian man named Leo Scipio Africanus. He is not your forefather. Right. When you say I'm African American, you're saying that you're the property of two Caucasian men. Oh, and right. you're not. That's They're supposed to be your property. That's, That's right. right. You you see what I'm saying? That's where the confusion comes in. Read that. 1 Corinthians 14:33. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. Bring it up. For God is not the author of confusion. So nothing that God wrote is supposed to be confusion. That's right. You're supposed to understand who you are. You're supposed to understand that you're the greatest thing walking the face of this earth. Right? Right. But because of our captivity, we've been brought down to a lower state that we don't even understand who we are. Get us to rock 11 and 25. I'm, if you got a minute, I'm going to show you that you're the I'm going to prove to you. I'm going to prove to you that you're the greatest people on the face of the earth. Likewise for you too, bro. Read that. I'm going to show you why we don't know who we are. 
Sirach chapter 11 verse 25. In the day of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of affliction. So in the day when we're prospering, okay, those that are high in society, they forget where they came from. They forgot that their forefathers were afflicted. We forgot that we've been beat down in this country. That's for those that are prospering right now. Read that. And in the day of affliction, there is no more remembrance of prosperity. So once we've been getting our tail beat for so long, because we have to go to the other nations, because we're on the bottom of society, we forget that we were rulers. Right. We forget that we were kings and priests. We forget that you're God's chosen people. God said, don't forget. God today is bringing you back to the remembrance of who you are. Right. Now I'm going to prove to you out of the scriptures that you are God's chosen people. That you're supposed to be above all the other nations. Get Deuteronomy 28. Start at verse 1. No matter of fact, get Ezra 9 and 7. Let's go there. Ezra chapter 9 verse 7. Stick around because I'm trying to show you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you're not black, Hispanic, or Native American. Oh, you're an right. Israelite. You're God's chosen. Right. Read that. Ezra chapter 9 verse 7. Since the days of our fathers. Hold on. Hey, brother, with that on. You got a minute? Okay. Okay. Read that. Since the days of our fathers have we been in a great trespass. So since the days of our forefathers, meaning the days of old, we've been in great trespass as a people. Meaning we've done nothing that the Most High God has said to do. We've kept no commandments. We until this day so from then until now we're still breaking god's commandments oh, we're still right. being rebellious doing what we oh, want to do right. read and for our iniquities so because of those iniquities have we our kings and our priests so have we us our kings meaning those that rule us of our people and our priests meaning those that are supposed to guide us in these scriptures oh, read right been delivered into the hand of the kings of the land. So now God said because of your iniquities, you, your kings and your priests are going to be delivered to the hands of the enemies. Oh, Did this not happen? Look at these. Were we not delivered to the hands of our enemies? Who did God say this would happen to? Did he say it would happen to blacks? Did he say it would happen to African Americans? Jamaicans, Puerto Ricans, Haitians? No. He said it was going to happen to the children of Israel. Yeah, right. Which means, if you're calling yourself by these names, you must be the people he was talking about in the Bible. Right. You must be. But it's more on that. Read on. To the sword. So now we've been delivered to the sword as a people. Have we not been getting shot down? We get killed daily. Not by just the other nations. We're killing ourselves. Right. Now, instead of actually gunning you down, they put guns in your neighborhoods until you kill yourselves. They teach us to kill each other. Hold that. Get Ezekiel 7 and 23. They give us the guns and teach us to kill one another. That's right. Why? Because we've been brought down low. We look at each other like our lives mean nothing. When to God, our lives mean everything. That's right. Read that. Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 23. Make a chain. For the land is full of bloody crimes. So our lands are full of bloody crimes. That's rape, rob, murder, all that. Our land is full of that. Yeah. You don't see that going on in the Jewish community? Right. Why? Because God said it would be happening in our community. Right. Why? Because we broke his laws. Right. Read that again. From the top. Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 23. Yeah. Make a chain. For the land is full of bloody crimes, uh -huh. and the city is full of violence. Our cities are full of violence. That's all you see. Look at Chicago. Full of bloody crimes. Full of violence. That's our cities, man. And it shouldn't be like that. Right. We're supposed to be ruling these nations. Right. But yet we're happy with the conditions that we're in. I ain't happy with it. Right. And you shouldn't be either. Right. Because you're greater than that. You greater than that. And you gotta believe that. Read on. Wherefore, I will bring the worst of the heathen. So now God said because we kill each other, 
He said he's gonna bring the worst to the heathen, meaning the lowest to the low. Who is that today? Who rules us in this land? White people, so-called white people. God said they're the worst of the worst. They're supposed to be on the base, but yet they rule it over us. Read that. And they shall possess their houses. So now, what we supposed to possess, the lands that was given to us, they possess it. They're ruling over us. That's crazy, man. I'm sitting looking at y'all and I see two gods. But we're not in a godly state. Go back to Ezra 9 and 7. I'm looking at two gods in front of me who've been brought low because of our sins. Because of my sins. Yours, yours. All these men out here, we've all done evil. We've all done wickedness. But I'm here to tell you, you don't have to do that anymore. You're greater than what society has told you you can be. Read that. Ezra chapter 9 verse 7. Since the days of our fathers have we been in a great trespass unto this day. Read. And for our iniquities have we, our kings and our priests, been delivered into the hand of the kings of the lands. Read on. To the sword. That's violence. That's us being killed. Read. To the captivity. Captivity. You know what it means, captivity? Us being in slavery. How do we get to this land? Get Deuteronomy 28, 48, then read 68. How do we get to this land? Huh? That's just like an inmate number they give you in the prison. Inmate, get uh, Isaiah 42 yeah. and 22. Yeah. Hold yeah. that, get Isaiah 42 and 22. Because you, you keep spitting knowledge, bro. What you're saying is absolutely true. The only thing is you've never heard that it was biblical. You said our inmate numbers that they give us mm. in prison, right? That's right. Read Isaiah 42 and 22. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 22 but this is a people robbed and spoiled so the nation of Israel the so-called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans we are the people that's robbed and spoiled we had everything taken from us our names our culture our heritage the way we dress walk talk ate everything was taken from us we they are all of them snared in holes we're snared in holes these are traps that society has set up the educational system, that's a trap. They tell you to go to college, you pay $100,000 to go to college, and then what? You still can't get a job. And you owe them 100 k for nothing. For nothing. Them putting Planned Parenthood in our neighborhoods, that's a trap. They give you condoms, tell you you can sleep with whatever sister. Knowing you're not supposed to do that anyways. The only woman you're supposed to be sleeping with is your wife. That's right. That's a trap. But our people think that they gave us this as a benefit. No, that's not the case. Read on. And they are hid in prison houses. They're hid where? In prison houses. Brother, sister, y'all listen up to this because this is something y'all need to know. It says they are where? They are what? They are hid in prison houses. So now, instead of calling you a slave, they call you a criminal. Right. They don't call you a slave anymore. They call you a criminal. Yeah. It's another name. Same system, different name. Yeah. Once you, I'm telling you, everything in this society is set up to trap us, bruh. But we have the instructions on how to get you out of that trap. It's on you to decide whether you want out or whether you want to continue to be assimilated. Whether you want to continue to be in the situation that you're in. But this day you have the instructions. God said that they are hid in prison houses. Who is that? That's our people, these people, God's people. He said they are hid in prison houses. Read on. They are for a prey. The other nations prey upon our conditions. They prey upon our weakness. They set up things to keep us in sin so we can stay on the bottom. And the more we stay on the bottom, the more they rise. But that's over. That's done with. It stops today, and it starts with you. It started with me. It started with him. And now you got to help. You got to learn what you need to do. You got to get yourself right so you can raise up your people. Because I can't do it by myself. We need each and every single one of these Israelite men. If you come from one of these tribes, we need you to fight this fight. Because there's strength in numbers. 
Right. And the only way we get those numbers up is how? If you repent. Help build me up. I help build you up. And then we go out and build up our community. You understand that? Hey, hey, young man, you got a second? He's comfortable with his condition. Go back to Ezra 9 and 7. He's comfortable, and it's men like that that keep us on the bottom. You should be mad at that. That's an elder man. He's supposed to be over here teaching me. I'm supposed to be standing over there listening to him. But yet me, I got to come out here and teach old men like that. That's sad. That's a shame. Read that. Ezra chapter 9 verse 7. Since the days of our fathers have we been in a great trespass. Uh, so since the days of our forefathers. How you doing sister? How you doing brother? Y'all have a second to listen to the word of God? You got a second sis? What am I here teaching? Is that our people are supposed to be the greatest people on the face of this earth. I'm sorry let me correct that. We're not supposed to be. We are. The greatest people to walk the face of this earth. But because of our condition, because of our sins, because of bad decisions that we've made, we've been brought to a lower state. And we no longer know who we are. We no longer know that we're God's chosen people. If I was to ask you, what's your nationality, sis, what would you tell me? What's your nation of origin? What people do you descend from? What people do you derive from? You said Africa, right? What about you, brother? Black American. Are y'all the same people? Yes. Why'd y'all give me two different answers? Yo, because our ancestors come from Africa, but we are of Black American. Explain to me how we got to Africa. Do you know what the word Africa comes from? Where it derives? No, I really never looked up stuff like that. Man named Leo Scipio Africanus. Do you know his nation of origin? No, I never looked His nation of origin was Edom. Do you know who Edom is? It's not your people. So no, you're not African, and our people don't come from Africa. That's right. Just because you were taken from one place and moved to another, doesn't mean that's who you are. Right. Same thing for you, you're not black American. Right. Where did you come from before you were here? Your forefathers came from somewhere. What I'm out here teaching is that our people come from the 12 tribes of the children of Israel and that these are God's chosen people these are your biblical nationality Judah Benjamin Levi Ephraim Manasseh Simeon those that's your biblical nationality and it's important for y'all to return to that because listen to what God said first Kings 8 46 I'm gonna show you what God said about that First Kings chapter 8 verse 46 if they sin against thee so if we sin against God have we all sinned we've all sinned right read for there is no man that sinneth not so God just confirmed what we just said there's no man that does not sin that has not sinned read and thou be angry with them so now God got angry at us because we sinned right we agree read on and deliver them to the enemy. So now when God got angry, he delivered us to our enemies. Did that not happen? When you look at these people, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, were we delivered to our enemies? Y'all know what it means when it says deliver to your enemies? Look at this picture right here. This is an example of delivered to your enemies. This one right here, the Northern Kingdom of Israel, the Native Americans and Hispanics, they were delivered to their enemies just as well as we were. As a matter of fact, they were delivered before we did, before we were, okay? So God said he delivered us to our enemies because we sinned, read. So that they carried them away captives unto the land of the enemy. That's how we got over here to America. We didn't come here willingly. We didn't say, hey, let's get up and go to America. Let's take a cruise, let's take a plane. No, we were brought here in shackles and chains, read. Far or near. So we've been scattered everywhere. They took us to Europe, Spain, Portugal, North America. They took us everywhere. Read. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. He said, in spite of all that, if we remember who we were. Read on. In the land, whether they were carried captives and repent. So we have to remember who we were in the land of our captivity and repent. That's right, sister. You know what it means to repent? You know what it means to repent? 
Keep reading. And make supplication unto thee. So now we have to beg God to forgive us for the sins that we've committed. Okay. Read. In the land of them that carried them captive. Right here in the USA. Babylon the Great. Read. Saying we have sinned. We have to confess that we have sinned. Okay. Acknowledge that we have sinned. Because that's the only way you're going to be able to fix the problem. Right, right. You have to acknowledge what you've done wrong. Right. Black people are so high-minded that we think we're holier than thou. Because we go get past the pork chop our money. No. Read on. And have done perversely. We've all done perverse things. Right. Right. Some of us have done things so perverse we're ashamed to speak it. Right. Read. We have committed wickedness uh -huh. and so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul. And at the end of the day, we must return to God with all our heart and with all our soul. That's the only way we get salvation. Right. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.